uh, welcome back to this week's vlog. Um, trying to change backgrounds up a little bit. Um, so this week I am, what am I going to do? Work on the Flying Fox commission. So I want to try and get that finished this week and get it sent out. Um, things have been moving to the States pretty quickly. So, well, kind of normal, normal speed, maybe a little bit longer. Um, so yeah, I really want to get that done this week so then I can concentrate on the dolls for the zoo. I can make a start on them. Um, like I said in my last vlog that um, I've made all the eyes, so the eyes are ready to go. I just need to start sculpting the heads. Um, so that'll hopefully fill in the time that I'm waiting for all of the faux fur to arrive. I don't know how long it's going to be, but it's said around a month so hopefully that will be enough time to sculpt all of the heads um because i need all of that um i need all of that fur because i don't have any anything in stock um so that's the plan lots of sculpting uh so i probably won't have uh many if any dolls go up for the next i don't know how long um but we'll see. Maybe I could like squeeze one in every now and again. Uh, I want to concentrate on the frog um, sculpture as well and see if I can finish that. It's almost finished. Um, it just needs to be molded and cast, test cast and stuff. Painted and blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, and also the shoe bill is just sitting there, um, which I never I didn't actually get faux fur for, which was annoying because... I did a big order for fur, so I might as well have gotten it, but I forgot. Um, so yeah, that's the plan for this week. Um, we'll see what gets done. today um yeah so it's coming to the end of the week so i just filmed a video on epoxy sculpt uh just a little i don't know materials 101 guide to epoxy sculpt um so i want to edit that because i haven't done one before and i'm not sure if everyone is familiar with epoxy sculpt it's something that i use uh quite a bit so um in my doll making so i will edit that and put that up on my youtube um yeah update on flying fox so i'd have to say this is probably one of my favorite dolls that's turning out so far i really like it uh, and i'm really happy with the way things are turning out um he's almost finished so he's almost ready to go home uh, i just need to apply some faux fur to the head um and give him a little bit of a trim and just anything else so got a really big wingspan uh, there's little bits and pieces that I need to just touch up on the wings um, but you know what I'll hold them upside down because that's about to do right me so it's got a pretty big wingspan I've got to add a little bit more detailing here um, so I'll just do some more I'm thinking sewing um, and on this side too so the wings turned out pretty cool. I'm I'm pretty happy with them. Um, the wing tutorial uh, will be on my Patreon. It's more like a because it was a a, a a trial. I think it was a experiment, which I'm really happy the way it's turned out. So I do plan to make it into a proper tutorial um, for both uh, Patreon and my shop. Um, but yeah. 
So I want to add some faux fur to the face. These little claws are really cool. Um, it hangs off stuff like so. So they're really happy with them. Um, if you want to know, uh, if you want to see how I made them, I sculpting the sculpting video will be over on my YouTube for free. I was gonna, uh, I was gonna put it on my Patreon, but I thought I'll just put it over on my um, YouTube because there's a lot of uh, behind the scene whip pictures of how I made these, including casting and molding. So you can get access to them for all of my patrons, uh, whatever tier you are. So if you want to see that, head over there. Um, yeah, so I want to finish this little one off today, or tomorrow, or whatever. Um, the wings. Ugh. The wings, I want to test them out and see how well they fold um, into bitty bitty bat wings. They're folding pretty well. Um, I'll have a play with them, play around with them. Uh, when I finish the doll just to see and make sure everything is turning out okay but yeah pretty happy with the way things are looking on this doll I really like it <laughs> um I'm gonna keep it no <laughs> I can't keep them all but yeah really happy I like the way and it sort of this process sort of opens up uh more possibilities for dragon wings um and more bats and stuff like that so um yeah pretty excited to start doing more things so that is the flying fox um, I am also working on a video um, of cosplay finally so I'm gonna do two and it's going to be uh, like first impressions of cosplay because I've got the Kickstarter pack and it's been sitting around for a little while so I actually want to use it um, I'm gonna be using it on my shoe bill for the legs so um, I want them to be poseable so putting cost clay to the test and a bit of live up to its expectations um, it's just uh, I know it requires a lot of conditioning which I'm not a fan of because um, I prefer to work with softer clays anyway um, and also my little frog like I said uh, in the last vlog I think it was I'm just going to add a little bit more here because it's kind of looking more like a gecko, not a frog, in my opinion. I think that's what I want to do. So it's only a little bit more here that I'm going to add. And then I can start uh, cleaning him up properly and then mold him. <laughs> so cute. Um, in terms of Calgary Zoo dolls, so I'm going to sculpt... I'm going to start off with the ferret. Um, most of the faux fur has been sent. There's One of my orders was a partial order. So the faux fur for the Sitatunga is not sent yet, I think. Um, which, I don't know why, it's weird. I guess I didn't have any in stock. But uh, hopefully it will uh, arrive pretty quickly. I think the bongo for... Well, I'm using mink for the bongo, so a minky fabric. Um, so hopefully that arrives pretty quickly. I think it's already making its way to Australia. And yeah, so I'm going to sculpt the ferret to start off with. I've got my reference photos up on my computer. Um, it's going to be 50 centimeters. Uh, and yeah, hopefully I can use some feet that I already have molds for. Hopefully the size is good. Uh, I could al always add epoxy sculpt to it if I want it a little bit longer anyway. So that's always an option as well. Um, so yeah, that is a whole lot of stuff that I need to do for this week. Um, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, so yeah, that's a little update. Mm -mm -mm -mm.
five sharp objects around your near your face. for this week um but i'll give you an update of what i did i got through a fair bit of things um so that's good <laughs> um what i'm gonna do is knock stuff over and then uh, show you my latest doll um so i still need to take some photos of it but it's completed um it's it's really cool uh, probably one of my favourite dolls that I've made for a while. Um, but yeah, I'll have to bag it up and send it on its way. So, yeah, I, I finished my Flying Fox. Um, it's really cool. I like it. Really happy with the way it's all turned out. Um, so, it's really... The wingspan's quite big. Um, but that's just the way it is. They have big wing, wingspans, so... I made it proportionate. Um, so that is the size of it. A uh, little closer look at the wings. So the wings, I'll be doing a video over on my Patreon um, on just like the process of making them. Um, it's going to be a full comprehensive tutorial. I'll do that. I yeah, I will do that, um, and I'll put that in my shop. But this one's just going to be like a little because uh, it was sort of a a trial that I um, that I did. Um, I would like to make a proper, comprehens more comprehensive one uh, to put in my shop. But um, yeah, really happy with the way it turned out. So I'll definitely continue doing it that way. Um, but yeah, that's a little look at the at the wings. Um, so they're fully poseable. I'll go I'll go more into details when I do the video on um, on this doll. Um, I'll sort of have a little section for the wings, I think. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. These are these are even uh, posable, so pretty happy. It's got a cute little face. Um, so I'll have to take some pictures of of it this week, um, and then they'll have the edit videos and stuff. So I think I might I think I might do a videos. I've got a couple of them for this. Um, so I think maybe next week the videos for these will go up. Uh, I already have videos on sculpting the head. I am doing them uh, a video on sculpting the feet. Um, and I also have some uh, behind the scenes pictures or whip pictures of um, molding and casting the feet as well over on my Patreon if you want to check that out. Um, and I do plan on doing more videos and stuff and behind the scenes pictures and etc over on my Patreon. Um, but yeah, really happy with the way it turned out. I can't wait to take some photos. I'd like to get some photos of it hanging. Um, because that's what back do, right? So yeah. The wingspan, that wingspan. Yeah, it's really cool. I like it. Um, alright, so that's that, um, and I also have another one in the making, it's not going to be that same colour, it's going to be, instead of that grey, it's going to be black, um, so the flying foxes in Australia have, like, variations in their colour, more commonly that grey colour, but, um, I think I want to do a black one this time, and that one will go up in my shop, um, but if you're a patron, you get early access to it, so, um, yeah, that's something to keep in mind, and that's all patrons. So, I am in the process of um, making another one. It shouldn't take too long. I just um, need to get some some of the same fabric for the wings. Um, because I bought some, and we've only got click and collect here. None of the, none of the um, 
of our retail stores are open at the moment because we're in um, lockdown and I don't think they're going to open until um, gee, November I think retail is going to open in November so it's kind of difficult for me to go to a shop and just get some fabric so when I ordered it for click and collect um, they said they had it in stock online but then they didn't so that's kind of frustrating and I can only at the moment we can only travel five kil in a five kilometer radius and um, unless it's for work um, which I can I suppose I can do that but there's not a lot of the stores around my area anyway so it'll be like a, a trip um what else and I'm also going to be working on a new wolf doll um so I've done a um watercolor a while ago of a wolf it's like purple and pink so and with yellow eyes so I wanted to make that so I thought the um the watercolor I will do for my next well either next month or the month after I'm thinking next month um the printable the free printable over on my patreon so that will be up there for um September October Sheesh, October already. Uh, yeah, so that'll be up for October, and I want to make the doll um, that goes along with it. I really like the way this wolf sculpt turned out. It's bigger than I wanted, but um, yeah, I like the the look or the gaze that he has. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I'll do that in between all of the the zoo commissions. This one's not as complex as my shoe bill, so <laughs> I will uh, smash it out a lot quicker. Um, I sculpted, I did a lot of work on my first uh, Calgary Zoo doll. Uh, I still have to bake it, but I am working on the ferret, so the black-footed ferret for the zoo. Um, they wanted a certain size which is about 50 centimeters, so it's a little bit bigger than um, the ferret doll that I have in stock as well. So, I mean, they look really similar to pet ferrets, so, um, or domesticated ferrets, I guess. So that's a little look at the ferret. I still have to bake it, and um, I might be able to get away with casting the ferret feet that I have, because they're roughly the same size. Um, so I might, I might do that. Um, and yeah, so I reckon that's about it. Uh, I haven't, I didn't get around to trying the cosplay, uh, but I will, I will, I will get there. Um, but yeah, like I said previously, I'm just going to edit some videos for epoxy sculpt, and um, hopefully, can get that up as well. Um, so yeah, I think that's the update for now. And, um, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Um, thanks to my patrons for supporting me. I really appreciate it. We have a whole heap of, um, things over there that you can check out. Um, and that link is in my description. And you can also check me out on Instagram and Facebook at Creatures of Net. And my shop, creaturesofnet.com. And, uh, catch you in the next one. Bye.